I'll start filming myself eating. Morning, guys. So we're here at the airport. Right now it's 9 a.m. And yeah, we're not in the bathroom right now. Are you ready to go to Taiwan? Yay! Yay! She's going to Taiwan because we have another friend in Taiwan on the basketball team. Oh, by the way, we're friends because we're on the same basketball team. <laughs> Just FYI. And there's another girl and she's in Taiwan right now and doing an internship. So yeah, Mina's going to go visit her. And then she's going to go back to Japan. Sneak peek of the airport. It's nothing much, but... Any typical airport, I guess. Nina's done checking in and now we're just gonna go break, go grab breakfast and I'm kind of surprised at the size of Gimpo airport because I thought it was a lot bigger but it's not too wide. Oh, wow, wow! wow. So. I wonder if they're famous. Whatever. We're gonna go there to the Korean restaurant. This is where Adventures of a Foodie ends. <laughs> Sorry if you guys are sick of me eating, but if you guys don't like it, then just comment down below and I'll stop filming. I'll stop filming myself eating. But taste test. This is like porridge, vegetable porridge, Korean vegetable porridge. Mm. It's really good. Tastes like home. How's the food? You eat it so good. Oh my god. <laughs> so Nina just left. And yeah, now I'm just gonna go back home. Today I'm gonna be hanging out with my camera shy friend. <laughs> yeah, you guys know who to relate to. And with his request, I am not going to film him anymore. <laughs> Unless he just randomly decides to want to be in it again. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be up to. So I'll try to vlog as much as I can. <laughs> this is like the lazy escalator. Like you could just walk here, but of course. We need a flat escalator because we're in the future. I mean, I guess it's useful if you have a lot of luggage, but people are just so lazy these days, including me that's walking on this. Just to be fair, I'm just gonna get off the escalator thing and just walk all the way for exercise. <laughs> it's not much, but you know what they say, small changes, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, small tweaks, big changes. Hey guys, just finished hanging out with my friend. And I missed the last bus, so I'm walking back home. It's 12.30 now, I think. Oh, it's 1 in the morning. Hey guys, what do you know? My roommate's not here. Which means that we can do something that we've all missed for a really long time. Quote of the day! <laughs> okay, so today is the 14th, right? So I'll read four quotes for you guys, super quick. Because, yeah, we haven't been reading quotes for a really long time. I actually miss these a lot. So let's start out with the first one of the 13th. Friendship makes prosperity more shiny and lessens adversity by dividing and sharing it. Basically what it means is that when you have big news, good news about something, it's when you tell people around you or your friends that it becomes a reality. When your friends are happy for you or your, when your friends are happy, then that makes your happiness that much bigger whereas when you're sad and you share bad news they'll try to sympathize for you and they'll try to understand you and when they do that your pain and agony becomes a lot smaller who being loved is poor don't find fault find a remedy the story of a love is not important what is important is that one is capable of love it is perhaps the only glimpse we are permitted of eternity 